Hello everyone and welcome to Learn Tech. In this video I'll show to you how we can fix this error. The application has failed to start because its side-by-side -side configuration is incorrect. In this case, this problem happened to Google Chrome, but basically uh, the steps are the same with any other application that you would receive this kind of error. So basically what we should do is we should go at search and we search for settings. And then from the options on the left, we go at apps. Then we click over apps and futures. The operating system that I'm using in this case is Windows 11, but the steps are the same for Windows 10. So now from the application list, we need to search for the application that is not running. In this case, it's Google Chrome. So we search here and we find Google Chrome. Then we click over these three dots here and we select over uninstall. If you receive this error, when you try to uninstall the application, then the next step that you have to do is to open Task Manager and to see if the application is still running. So we search Task Manager and we open it. And we need to see from the list of the apps here if Google Chrome is running still. If Google Chrome is not running and it's not on the Task Manager, then we are going to open another browser and we are going to download Google Chrome. So we just search here, download Google Chrome. I'll put the link on the description below. So you come directly on the page of Google Chrome where you can download this browser. So once you are here, you need to click over download Chrome. We have to open the folder where Google Chrome is downloaded. We click with the right of the mouse over the setup file and then we choose run as administrator. Now we are going to do a reinstall of Google Chrome. So here we are. Now Google Chrome is installed and it's running my computer and nothing is deleted. So all my bookmarks and the passwords that I had saved in Google Chrome is still there. So the first step that you have to do in case that you receive this kind of error, you have to uninstall this application from your computer and then download it and install it again. If you are not able to remove this application from your computer, then you just reinstall it without removing the existing version of your application, which is in this case, Google Chrome. That's all that I wanted to show to you guys. Hopefully this was a helpful video for you and please do not forget to subscribe. Thank you.